Hi, I'm Margaret DeVigo from Pensieri Dolci. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that way you will get notification of when my next video uh, is coming live. What are we making today? These beautiful croquants. It's a French recipe from Provence. What inspired me to get a recipe from Provence? Two people, Françoise and Thierry, from L'Atelier Presbyter, located in Milford in Prince Edward County. So the last episode I was in Prince Edward County. This episode I'm still in Prince Edward County visiting one of our favorite places, L'Atelier de Presbyter in Milford. It is owned by Thierry and Françoise. They are originally from France and they have a barn-like shop that has many items in linen, like what I'm wearing right now, and Francoise makes them all. They import the linen, Thierry washes it, he cuts the patterns, and she sews during the winter months so that she's ready to go the long weekend in May. This is beautiful. Linen is so comfortable. This has pockets. It's fresh. I know a lot of people don't like linen because of the, of, it might get wrinkled, but if you get good quality linen like this one, no. I've worn this twice already, and look, it's great. And you can pair it with some nice sandals and running shoes. You can do whatever you want with this dress. You can maybe wear it with a belt, put it with a necklace, but I like simple. For me, less is more, and I'm good to go. So, let's get ready to make these French cookies. Prior to my visit to uh, visit Thierry and Francoise at uh, L'Atelier Presbyter in Milford in Prince Edward County, I wanted to bring them something um, something French. So I, I researched some recipes from uh, Provence and I found one and it's a cookie called croquant. Very similar to maybe a, a, a biscotto, that, uh, an Italian biscotto, but this is a different texture. All right, now I've got to show you something. What do you think this is? This is also from L'Atelier de Presbyter. It can be a tablecloth. It would look lovely on your table. It could be a bath towel, very nice and soft, but it can also be, with this type of weather, a very nice shawl, scarf. Hope I'm not covering the mic. You can still hear me. You can tie it up like this on the cool afternoons or evenings where you don't want to wear something wool. Very nice take a visit. You'll find a lot of nice things there. Okay, let's get started. This is my Ferrari, my nice red Ferrari. It makes noise like a Ferrari, so I'm going to apologize for that noise. Um, let's start adding the ingredients. What you are going to need is you're going to need some roasted almonds about 150 grams. Because this is a, a French recipe, it's done in grams. Um, but I can put on my YouTube channel, uh, I'll, I'll translate it into cups. So we have 150 grams of roasted almonds, 100 grams of white sugar, 100 grams of unsalted butter, room temperature, okay? Two large eggs, 250 grams of white all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder, and about between 50 to 75 grams of chocolate chips. These are the mini ones. These are bittersweet chips. And they're perfect for this type of cookie. So here we go. We are going to put in our butter. We're going to cream our butter and our sugar together. Okay, here we go, lift this up, and we're going to start off slow.
We'll increase it a bit. We're trying to marry the butter and the sugar together to become this creamy combination. Up a bit more. It's starting to come together. A few more seconds and I think we're good to add the eggs. Now when you add the eggs, one at a time, and you should wait one minute before adding another egg. Here we go, one egg. While that's whipping up, I gotta show you something else. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's an infinity scarf from the same place. Look how beautiful this is. It's linen and it has, there's some writing on it like that and it's, they're fantastic. There you go. You can double it like that and actually Francoise wears a couple of them at the same time and it looks great. Beautiful. Okay, time to add the other egg. Here we go. Going to increase the speed a bit. Nice. Did you notice I cut my hair for you guys? No? My crew didn't notice. It's okay. <laughs> it's a bit lighter. It's, it's uh, layered. We're going to wait for this last egg to get incorporated and then we're going to start adding the flour, the salt and the baking powder. Looks good. I'm going to lower the speed. Okay. And here we go. Flour. Oh. The smug from Provence. You know where it comes from. I don't need to tell you. Okay. And our salt. Oh, a little bit of salt. Baking powder. And we're going to mix this just until it's incorporated. We're not going to blend it too much. Okay, I just want to show you the consistency. I don't know if you can see it. Can they see it up above? Yeah? Okay. We're, to this, we're going to add our chocolate chips, our almonds, and guess what? We're done. That's it. It's a one bowl mixing recipe, and they taste great. Okay. What we have to do now is we have to move this dough onto a board. So we'll lower this, take this off. There we go. I'll use my spatula to take the batter off the beater here. Okay. Great. Good, good, good. So these are double baked. What that means is um, we're going to make two small loaves with this batter and we're going to put, put it in the oven at 350 preheated, okay, and uh, let, let that cook for 25 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're going to do a visit. You're going to meet Francoise and Thierry. Okay, we've got all the dough on there. Mounded into one lump of dough, and then you're going to cut it, try to make it the same size, and this is what you're going to do. You're just going to, the dough is really nice. Look, I don't even need extra flour here. About eight or nine inches, I 
I think that's good. We'll flatten it a bit. Okay, so that's one. We're going to put it on a cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. That's one. This one I think is a little bit bigger. That's okay. It's all good. Baking is all about getting your hands in there too, right? I love I love the texture. I love how it feels. Okay. We're going to put this on here as well. There we go. And they're going straight into the oven. As I said, at 350 for 25 minutes. And then we're going to take them out. We're going to let them cool for 10 minutes and then slice them and they go back in the oven for 20 minutes and then after, after, after 10 minutes we're going to switch sides and bake for another 10 minutes. There we go. Timer 25 start. Come with me. We're going to meet them. You're going to see what they're all about and you're going to want to go visit them. Welcome, I'm Margaret Duvigo from Pensieri Dolci. I am still in the county. I am in Milford at this beautiful, beautiful place called L'Atelier de Presbyter. And I'm sitting with the owners, Francoise and Thierry. And they have, if you look around me, you'll see some beautiful urns from Provence. Their, their shop is full with clothing, linen that Francoise sews and makes all the beautiful clothing in there. There are water jugs, there are table linens, there is soaps. There are so many things in there that just bring a French flair to the county. And now I'm going to ask Francoise, how did you come to Milford to open this? Yes, so Milford, we came in 2016 and we made the first stop of 10 years in uh, Montreal when we moved from Provence to Canada. Okay. And we discovered the county in 2009 and we just love it, the wind, the winery, the ambiance, the little shop, the brocante. And it was a perfect place for us to open an ephemeral boutique only in the season and in the winter time we can make. Okay, and Thierry, I'm, I've seen your Instagram, you do a lot of work here. You've built things, you've, you're very handy. Yes, I am a man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've built all of this by yourself? We take just a contractor for the frame and the roof and uh, inside it's all me. It's all you? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And all the finish uh, and the ceramics, the drywall, the painting, the wood floor, all it's me. Okay. I like the finish on inside. That's great. Well, you can tell it's just beautiful in there. Yeah, it, but it's not finished. It's I think not we finished. finish for next year, I think so. Okay. And the workshop and the, and the showroom. And after I take my raw time on something. <laughs> okay, okay. But Thierry is very busy uh, cutting because I do all the sewing, but Thierry organizes all the wash, uh, iron, and wow. all the cutting. All so the pattern. And the designer, it's me, you know? Wow. He yes. say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a team. It's, it's a, a team. team. It's a team. Yes, it's very a good. Thierry is my mannequin sometimes to yes. try the clothes because <laughs> I have to see the size and if it's 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 great. I, so I, I've been here many times and I look forward to coming here all the time because um, you are such a and, and I say this with endearment. You're such a beautiful couple. You're always happy. You're always joyful. You're very welcoming and it's very sincere yes. and when when covid came to visit us how did covid impact you and your business so we were very afraid last year when it happened because mm. uh, the way uh, we work usually we make in the winter and after we go craft show to craft show 
Toronto, Niagara, Mishkoka, Windsor, and last year all the craft show were cancelled. So we just said, how are we going to have our money? So we have a website for sure, but we are more face-to-face uh, -face people. We like to see people that people want to see and touch and yes. the different quality of linen. So in fact, COVID wasn't so bad for us. At the fir first time we were worried, but we organized to open the shop earlier than because it's not finished. But it was, it was not too bad last year. We had visitors, we do no advertising with Instagram is good. Mm -hmm. And people knew with our website, we were o opening something. So it wasn't so bad. And this year we decided we will never do again the big show. We will travel maybe to do some uh, little craft show for the spring or the fall maybe. But it works. Yeah. And we don't have to do, we don't grow. We have our, uh, the level we want. Okay. Uh, we are older, that's why as well we moved from France, we wanted to have a quality of life. Mm -hmm. So it's good, we make in the winter and we open June to October and we sell what we made. It's good. Okay. And what about for yourself, for your self-care, for your well-being? I know you live in this beautiful area. Does that help you with your, with your, your anxiety or stress? Well, we, as you say, we are always welcoming and nice yes. and smiling, but we are like everybody yes. when the door are closed, sometimes we yes. are tired, yes. and, but it's the way when it's open, we need to be uh, nice and uh, yes. to have the sun with the other people. But we have, we are, uh, both of us, we like to be uh, in our bubble sometimes. When we are tired, we don't need to go to party or go outside. And some people need that when they are tired to go in a restaurant, in party and do the fiesta. This is not us. When we are tired, we like to be in our bubble. So I like to read a book. Okay. as well like to do with things and yeah. uh, work as well. For him, that's why he likes it, to uh, build a new shed or work in the barn. You know, you don't think too much, you do your thing, and at the end of the day, your thing are done, and it, it's, it's relaxing. Okay, so it sounds like what I'm hearing is that um, you, you have a way to, to get away from your work, and because you have other things that you have, like reading a book mm -hmm. or working on something knitting, else, knitting. A book. I like That's to do great. Young gardening. That's good. Gardening. That's so important. Yes. But we like the, the always the thing is to do things. Right. Even reading a book, mm -hmm. you, your eyes read the book. It's not yeah. it's doing nothing, but it's you do something. Yes. yes. We are not the, just to. Sometimes we like to watch a series, or in the winter we... It's more in the winter, yes. But it's, it's not to winter. spend all day front of the TV, no. Sounds like you've got it uh, figured out, for sure. We, I think <laughs> we found the balance now, uh, as we said, and as well mm -hmm. with COVID, we wanted to open this shop, but we will never stop to do the show. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it was economic, uh, it was uh, the way we were working. Right. Right. But now we found the balance and we like, at the end of the season, middle of October, we will be happy to close the door because we saw a lot of, it's fun. Yes. But we need to have a <laughs> bubble and kind yeah. of, a, yeah. you know, and it's good. Yes. So some of our friends or customers, they say it's not boring the county in the winter, not at all for us. We yeah. just go once at the grocery, we see nobody, we watch video on YouTube as well, new yeah. channel now. Yeah but as well some documentary or other thing, French uh, show, uh, French documentary. Mm -hmm. So we are not... Um, That's boring. great. No. And then in May, when you're ready to open, you are oh, yes. ready to welcome yes, exactly. everybody. And so we usually we begin to do the swing December until the end of April. So some of our customers say, I'll come in May, but no, it's not ready. Mm. Because we make, but we storage everything we do little by little every day. So as well, we like to keep all the months of May to do the picture for the website, to do the website, uh, to tag all the price, and as well to organize a, a shop like um, vernissage. Not on, it's not the way to make and sell, make and sell, of course, we need to sell. But we like to see all what we made in one year. Mm -hmm. And we can see. Otherwise, we, s we don't see. In the winter, we make and 
there is more and more linen yes. everywhere. We yes. have just two little chairs to watch a, a series. <laughs> Everything is full. Yeah. So it's nice to have all the months to organize. Yeah. And after we open and it's fun. And after, yes, we are happy to see people at the end of the, the winter mm -hmm. months can be long for uh, for anybody. But for residents of the county, it can be also uh, time that uh, isolation time. So uh, Thierry was explaining to us how he spends his winter. Oh yes, in the <laughs> winter we speak only French. Only you know? French. <laughs> and when we open the shop in um, in uh, June, I am the first week I am very tired. You know. I, I I need to more vocabulary and <laughs> I, I oh it's too hard for me. The f after it's good That's because right. I practice and the vocabulary lo lo little by little come and you know it's better. But the first week I am I think I am on the bed at nine o'clock oh. and I sleep. I am I am like a baby. Like a baby, <laughs> yes. In the winter he works, he works, he works. Yes, but it's okay. It's In the summer you don't work. <laughs> That's what she says. It's not the same work. <laughs> it's no, not it's the same no, it's work. Not the it's not the same, same work. Exactly. Okay. It, it's yes. work too. It's work too, but I like it. I like to set the new setup every, not every week, two, two weeks. What? I change different things in the yeah. in the shop. And I like it because uh, and and people uh, like that because it's. They come one uh, one day. Oh, I see that, and uh, uh, a week after, I don't see that. I know because do I. Have, do you have this <laughs> last week? Yes. Yes, yes, but it's not the same place, you know. Oh, you okay. Change and uh, yes. some people like that. Uh, well, I follow I follow Latelier on Instagram. I, I suggest that you do as well because things here are sold very quickly. If you uh, if you're in the county, come and visit them. Come and visit their shop. You will be amazed at the quality and the and the many diverse things that they have. And you and the best part is you get to meet this beautiful couple. So, <laughs> saying goodbye from Milford. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for coming. You are very welcome. You know. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been 25 minutes. The um, cookie, the, the dough, the cookie logs have come out of the oven. They've rested for 10 minutes and now they're ready to be cut. But before I cut them, I want to know, did you have a, a good time in meeting Francoise and Thierry? Aren't they great? Yeah, they are. Okay, I'm going to transfer these over to a cutting board. Be careful because they're, they're still a little warm and a little soft so um, they're a little delicate right now. And I'll move the other one and we're gonna cut them into slices. So we can do two at a time. And don't worry if they crumble, it's all good. Because they're a rustic looking cookie. Whoops, that's a little too thin. Okay. And when they go back in the oven, they'll harden. Okay, here we go. And just put each slice back on. Like that. Actually, they need to go onto their side like that. I was thinking of my other recipe, my biscotti recipe. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Don't worry, don't think, oh my God, they're not cooked. They're gonna be cooked. I promise you. Okay. There we go. Put this one on its side. I'm going to show you what to do with uh, all the crumbs. They're not going to go to waste. All right. Anything that's left onto your board, we're just going to put it on top. Because I guarantee you, someone in your family is going to eat those toasted pieces. 
All right, here we go. This is going to go back in the oven for 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to take the tray out and just flip them over and they go back in for another 10 minutes. And then um, we're going to make a nice cup of coffee and enjoy them. Here we go. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see you in 20. Okay, ready to take the cookies out. So they've baked for 20 minutes, rebaked for 20 minutes. And here we go. I wish you could smell these, they smell amazing. We're going to let them cool down on the cookie sheet. Um, that way they'll harden a little bit more. So now uh, I know some of you were worried before when I was cutting them and you said, you might have thought, oh my God, they're so crumbly. But look now, okay, they're still warm and, and <laughs> warm to touch, but they've hardened. And all those crispy bits, they're gonna be eaten, I guarantee you. All right, now it's time to enjoy these cookies. So I'm gonna take my gloves off. I have my steaming cup of coffee. I hope you can see the steam. And this mug is from um, L'Atelier de Presbyter uh, from Thierry and Francois. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something now. Um, I know we've all heard this for the last two years. We're all in this together. We're not alone. We really are not. Here I am in Prince Edward County um, interviewing some of my favorite people there and we're all in the same boat whether it's here in Europe it's everywhere and just to to talk to these people um, was sort of comforting because uh, it made me and 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 for you for the viewers to know that hey there's other people out there experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing so talking with them about how COVID has impacted their personal life their um, business uh, th their true feelings and emotions came through and at some point you could t you could see the the worry in their face when they were talking about what's going to happen to our business we've worked so hard and their journey to uh, their journey f to get to where they are uh, which was explained in in our interview and I hope you caught that is incredible the, the resiliency the the tenacity the courage the love between these two so i really hope you get a chance to go and see them tell them margaret sent you give them well i don't know if you can give them a hug but i tell them i send them hugs and kisses and they're going to treat you like family okay here we go bring these cookies back okay i have my coffee ready here you go very rustic looking cookie you can see the almonds when I cut them I slice through the almonds you see the chocolate chips and uh, they actually can be maybe dunkers let's give it a try I dunk <laughs> here we go mm -hmm. excellent Make your cookies, grab a coffee, sit in your favorite chair, and um, take a few minutes for yourself. I'll see you next time.